Unexpected stop. There's a cool lakeside um, music thing here. We're checking out. We're almost right by the hotel. It's really pretty around here. We never actually went surprisingly around Mount Fuji yet, so it's cool to explore. It's way different, different vibe. Mountains all over. It's really pretty. just arrived at our little glamping spot it's super nice and the sun just came out as well Mount Fuji is covered maybe tomorrow it's one of those things you, you have to be a little lucky to see it and that's our little sleeping tent should we check inside <laughs> the door is so tiny oh it's an actual tent oh wow it's super cute it's bigger than it looks like they trick you with a small door. You sleep there? Mm -hmm. this is... Yeah. Thank you. I can't believe this is a tent. What? Oh, it's... It's hard. Yeah, it's so much clearer now. Damn, it's still got snow on it. Well... We were hoping maybe we would get like a red Mount Fuji with the sunset, but I don't think that happens this time of year. Did you know thousands of data brokers have secret shadow profiles of you and they include a frightening amount of details. Online privacy. Data is our currency. And some of the buyers are actually in the business of selling your data over and over again. It's really surprising to me how companies can take your private information, sell it, and somehow that's legal. This information can be used by scammers, strangers, insurance companies, banks, businesses, even the government. And they can all use this information against you while also making a good profit out of it. Where's my money? My money. Apparently, my email address is worth $89 to any brand. I want that $89. <laughs> the good news is you can remove it. The bad news is it will take you over 300 hours to do so. <laughs> Opting out of this has been made difficult by default. And that's where Incognit comes in. All you gotta do to get your personal information removed is sign up pay a small bit amount of money and then sit back and relax and let Incogni do the work. It's a really great service and I recommend you guys check it out to protect your privacy. Incogni will take care of it all for you and you can track it easily online. And I know what you're thinking, Felix, this sounds great. Can you cut me a deal though? Of course. Right now, if you go to incogni.com slash PewDiePie, you get 60% off. From what I can tell, it's a very competitive price if you guys use the offer, so I recommend taking advantage now. So click the link below to get your personal information wiped off the internet, as it should have been from the beginning. Thank you, Incogni, for sponsoring this video. This tent is so cozy. That was really nice. I would definitely come back here. Tomorrow, we're going to a uh, park. Now we're going to watch a movie. Good night, gamers. I'm going to fade down the light so it looks like it says good night. <laughs>
There you go. Super cozy. Damn, it's so clear now. What a view. Unreal. I love the Fuji cones. Who needs Mount Fuji when you have this one right there? It's Ramune, it's a soda and pineapple. And it's Pokemon, so I am 33. Mmm. Oh, it's got the chewy bits in it. Did I use it right? She told me how to use it. We stopped by our village on the way here. It's very old style, traditional. found a big bug. That's a stink bug, Momo. That's disgusting. Do not kill it. But yeah, it probably didn't taste good, did it? <laughs> Lesson learned, Momo? The insects are coming to Japan. I don't like it. <laughs> Something you don't like here, Momo? She's freaked out by something. Oh, someone's a little... No! You want edge, Momo? Is it the New Year's raid? No! So, I'm just putting up the things that will hold up the shelves. And I got a little helper here. Hello. All right, all done. We'll get so much more storage now. We're happy with that. Took a little less than an hour. That's so much better. And now we have space for more board games. I forgot I pre-ordered this. Usually I go for digital versions. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The reason I pre-ordered it is not for the game, it just goes in the trash. It's for this. If you pre-ordered it in Japan, you get a spoon! Way better. It's a nice spoon. Some say it looks like it's any other spoon. But it says Legend of Zelda on it. This spoon is gonna be worth billions. It's a good spoon. I'll leave this tonight, thank you. You got in the car earlier. You don't have a drop on you.
it just the powder? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, it came in a surprise. A surprise meme. <laughs> we're, all, we're all surprised. Crunch on the flat now. This is how you do oh, wow. mm. You look like a little strawberry as well. No. Mm. The pear is so good. We're in Aming Chofu, one of my favorite spots in inside Tokyo, but still outside. Very, very pretty. And I won the lottery. They were like, oh, I made it all. I'm like, what I win? Art. It's very cool. Yeah, this one. This is my CS. So cute. I'm gonna try and paint this. PJ, what you got? We got a maniki Nico. Very nice. <laughs> they look great. <sighs> it's such a nice day today. It's like a comfortable temperature, not too hot. I took my parents here and it was way too hot. And it was the day after we went surfing, so I'm glad we get to enjoy it again and not suffer the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Go far away. <laughs> Some people stopped to pet Momonegger, so I took the chance to ask them where the pond was. But I didn't realize it was so far, and they were like, we'll guide you. So they walked us all the way. <laughs> They're so friendly of them. 
Oh man, I said, sorry, I'm not good in Japanese. And she was so nice. She was like, but you spoke to me a little bit. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really nice park. This is where the Ghibli Museum is. So it seems like it's already quite popular. Got sparkly dolphins on it, can't go wrong. Marcy spotted a bird. Everyone's looking at the bird. Zoom on it, Marcy. Where? That's it? More. More! More! It's the first time Momo meets the ocean. You excited, Momo? It's water! Momo, be careful. That's disgusting. They're like tsunamis for you, Momo. time to come back and surf and with me my co-partner mr afrobol himself what up looking good it doesn't fit felix it fits so tight. you can breathe now <laughs> it's gonna rip in half halfway while i'm surfing across the way that look cool action shine all right we're going in the waves are looking a little a little shit they look huge but i don't know like it's we'll not, see how we go it's not gonna be surfing Wow, we got the most amazing footage. Rode the waves perfectly. Best footage ever. I lost the GoPro. Sorry, it's and it was Chris GoPro as well. My daughter's GoPro. <laughs> My daughter's first birthday was on that. She will day. never know what it was like. Oh damn it, <laughs> but I mean, the waves you, are so crazy. When you go in the water like that, you know, there's an expectation the GoPro won't be coming back from the battle. Thank you, I appreciate that. I will get you a new GoPro. Stop complaining. God. <laughs> I want the brand new top of the range GoPro. Oh, okay. All the trimmings. <laughs> what do you got there, Chris? Don't worry, Felix. In my line of work, we always bring a spare. Oh, thanks. You can film yourself crashing once again. <laughs> Don't lose it. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. What a pro. can't really tell but it's getting a little dark we've been surfing for like hours it's so good one last stretch feel like being a kid there she is this is like the most beautiful evening it looks amazing what an affable gentleman look at him <laughs> the sunset hit and all the sky just blew up orange it looked like it was on fire it was so beautiful and then the ocean itself became pink because of the reflection and the waves are so nice it was jaw-dropping i was stunned i'm so thrilled that was amazing i'm so tired we've been out for hours shame i lost a gopro i had so many good waves on that <laughs> they shut off the water for the showers 
Damn, that's YouTube money. And beyond. <laughs> Very nice. It's desperation. <laughs> I need a shower. I feel awful. <laughs> We read this one. It's Pandora. It's really cute, and they have merch here. Oh God, Mazui. <laughs> We're going to uh, the aquari aquarium thing. It's really cool in Ginza. season here now we've been here three times or Marcia has I don't know if you remember from earlier vlogs senpai wow big boy they look so hideous and cute oh god I love the music Thick boy. He's got oh, that ass. Good old summer. Happy midsummer. Today's midsummer, the greatest Swedish tradition. So of course we're going to IKEA to have some meatballs. Yes. Home. Hey, oh my god. It's like they speak my language. Oh my god. What? They have it? Oh my god, they have the whole thing. I can't believe it. I think you have to reserve for that? Wow. They have veggie meatballs. And they look good. Usually they put corn in them, but not even in Japan. The land where they put corn and everything. I was never a fan of these. Or the gravlands. That's for adults. I don't eat that. I don't really like them, but... Oh, you're getting one? The dime cake. It's like I'm home. It's like I never left. I can't believe they were actually celebrating. It's good. It's funny to me because a lot of people, like, they're like, Oh, I love meatballs at Ikea. I'm like, yeah, that's like the worst meatballs you can get. They're not bad. This is the flavor we have for the G Fuel. And it's really tart and it goes so well with uh, the savory. Mm. Very happy Swedish boy right now. <laughs> Gotta try out the Kenyal Bullet. It, it looks bad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's hard, it's supposed to be soft. Sorry for hating Ikea. Summer, happy midsummer from me and Eggy. Yeah, you look so cute again. I'm almost too crazy to have one. <laughs> we did it. Spyro 100%. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? This is 
What? You collected all the coins. Here's your reward, collecting more. Yay. Thank you, Spider. <laughs> hey, I get glasses. Eggy, Eggy, I'm trying to make outro. Just wanted to say, it's getting very close now. Very close to becoming a dad. I'm very, very, very excited. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I don't know if I'll have time to make videos. It's gonna be chaos, I don't know. But I imagine I will not upload in a while. So, just wanted to say thank you for all the support on these vlogs. We're so happy that you guys enjoy them. And we can share a bit of our life here. But I think, for now, we might take a little break until we come back again. And, uh, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. Thank you. Bye bye. I broke this. Bye bye. You got in my shot, PJ. Get out of the shot. What the hell? Oh my god. These fucking tourists.